Hi, Amsterdam Drone Week. I'm Brian Yutko. I'm the CEO of Whisk Arrow. I apologize I can't be there with you in person today, but I'm really excited uh, to, to come to you from our hangars in California and show you some of the amazing technology and airplanes that we're developing right now. As Whisk new CEO, I'm spending all of my time here with the team in California, but one of the things that hasn't changed in, uh, in this transition is our mission to deliver safe everyday flight for everyone and to deliver the world's first autonomous passenger carrying aircraft this decade. So one of the first things I wanna show you is an airplane that you may be familiar with. This is our fifth generation aircraft, which uh, you may be aware of is called Cora. We fly this aircraft regularly here in the California area, and we use this for technology development. So this aircraft is a battery electric airplane that takes off vertically, flies like an airplane in forward flight, and lands vertically. Um, this aircraft is, uh, is battery electric. It's powered by lithium ion cells that you may be familiar with uh, in, your, uh, in your cell phones or in your computers. Um, it's got some of the world's highest performance electric motors that you can see here. Um, and we fly this aircraft to continue to develop all of the, the, uh, the underlying technologies that we need in a very mature platform. But what we're really working on with the bulk of our team is actually an aircraft that we call our Gen 6 platform. So the Gen 6 air platform is the aircraft that you see behind me here. This aircraft uh, seats four people. You notice some major configuration changes with this airplane. The wing on this airplane compared to our fifth generation aircraft is actually raised up high for easy entry and egress into the aircraft. Um, it, uh, it seats four people plus their baggage um, and, uh, and it's used on short haul flights, really traveling between, uh, between short haul locations. Now, what's really interesting about this airplane is um, obviously all the, the attributes that make up the aircraft, the electric powertrain, um, the batteries, the motors, um, all the rest. But what I think is most interesting about this airplane is actually what's going on on the inside. So let's take a look at that. I'm often asked what the interior of an autonomous aircraft will look like. And this is it, you're looking at it. You'll notice there are no pilot controls that are in front of me where I'm sitting right now, where pilot controls would normally be. That doesn't mean though that people go away entirely. They change what they're doing in the system. And that's because we have a multi-vehicle supervisor that sits on the ground and monitors the operations of this aircraft. We also leverage some of the technologies that you may see uh, or experience on today's commercial aircraft, along with a suite of hazard detection sensors and WIS autonomous software to be able to enable this aircraft to see and avoid other airborne uh, and ground-based obstacles. Through the capabilities that we're developing, this aircraft will be able to navigate, identify ground and airborne hazards, and also adjust its flight path to maintain safe operations, all while being supervised from the ground uh, with our multi-vehicle supervisor. But even though the aircraft doesn't have pilot controls on board the aircraft and is autonomous, we have to think very deeply about how passengers actually interact with the aircraft itself. We have had hundreds of potential travelers come through our design studio and their input has shaped what you see here. We've also made sure to include people with various levels of mobility and accessibility requirements so that the information that they're seeing on the screens that you see that are in front of me and how the aircraft actually interacts with them is the same for everyone of different levels of requirement for mobility and accessibility. But the last thing I wanna talk about is safety. Safety is at the core of everything we do at WISC. We are designing this aircraft system, the aircraft that I'm sitting in, along with all of the offboard components to meet commercial levels of safety. Our ability to design and ultimately certify a system that meets that level of safety, the level of safety that the public will expect, is the challenge that our team is working on. As I mentioned earlier, we remain totally committed to our mission of bringing safe everyday flight to everyone and to certifying the world's first passenger carrying autonomous aircraft this decade. Over the next year, you'll hear a lot more from us on the development and certification milestones that we'll be achieving to bring this aircraft to market. Most importantly, we're going to be bringing WIS to you through more public engagements and potentially even some public flight demonstrations. Stay tuned for more information on that.
I'll close by saying this. At WISP, we know that bringing autonomous electric flight to market is not an easy task. It's challenging work, it's hard work, but we know that it's possible and we're committed to doing it in a way that is safe and in a way that meets today's commercial levels of safety. And when we're successful, we believe that we'll unlock a whole new dimension of travel, but we'll also be able to change our industry and ultimately change the world. So thanks a ton, Amsterdam Drone Week, for letting me come to you from the hangar here in California. There's so much exciting work that's going on. I can't wait to show you more throughout this year, and I can't wait to be with you in person next year. Have a great conference, and be on the lookout for more from WIS soon.